hello students uh, let me explain the concept of natural vibration so when a body is vibrating periodically without any help of external force that's called the natural vibration okay or free vibration free in the sense the body doesn't need any uh, external force to vibrate periodically okay uh, for example we have a body let's say this is a body which is clamped at this point or fixed at this point and if I provide some external force initially, okay, um, disturb this body which is at rest, then it starts vibrating, okay. So this kind of vibrations is called the natural vibrations. It starts vibrating on its own. That vibration is called the natural vibration, and the period, the time period of this vibration depends upon the shape and size of this body, okay. And the period of this vibration is called the period. Uh, time period of this vibration is called the natural period and the frequency of this vibration is called the natural frequency understood so uh, a body which is capable capable of vibrating uh, at a constant natural frequency will have a constant amplitude that means a body which is vibrating with constant natural frequency will have a amplitude constant okay it, the amplitude will not change but uh, natural vibrations of the body uh, is not doesn't occur occur in reality it can only occur in vacuum because vacuum there is no resistance so but in medium the medium offers resistance to the vibrations therefore the amplitude of vibration will not remain same but it will keep on decreasing okay so amplitude will keep on decreasing initially the amplitude was this finally it starts decreasing so after some time it will finally stop okay so body cannot vibrate naturally in reality because of the resistance it can only happen in vacuum understood so let me give you some examples of natural vibrations okay or free vibrations uh, like simple pendulum so bob, if the bob of the simple pendulum is displaced then it starts vibrating with natural frequency f equals to 1 by 2 pi square root of g by l okay 1 by 2 pi square root of g by l so as you know as when you calculate the value of time period that time you know that capital t equals to 2 by 2 pi square root of l by g so frequency will be just uh, 1 by t so it be, it becomes 1 by 2 pi square root of g by l so frequency natural frequency of simple pendulum depends upon length as well as g so for different length of the pendulum uh, we will get different natural frequency of vibration understood so very easy okay another example of natural vibrations let's say we have a load okay any load which is connected to the spring which is connected to the spring so if we stress the load then the spring starts vibrating with natural frequency is given by f equals to 1 by 2 pi square root of k by m so k, k is here the spring constant or it measures the hardness uh, m is the mass of the spring so depending upon the uh, value of mass and m and k the spring uh, the frequency natural frequency of the spring will be different so if you have the same load which is connected to the different spring they will have different natural frequency or if you have a different loads connected to the same spring will have different values of uh, natural frequency so natural frequency depends upon the spring constant or force constant we can say as well as mass of the load it depends upon the mass of the load i'm sorry i said mass of the spring but it depends upon the mass of the load load okay therefore for if you're using the different spring then the k values will be different for the same mass if you're using the different mass for the same load uh, same spring then the k value will be same but the mass will be different as a result the frequencies will be different so natural frequency of the uh, mass which is connected to the spring depends upon the k value as well as mass value of the load number third condition which is uh, number third examples uh, which is the tuning fork so when we strike the tuning fork against a rubber pad then it starts vibrating with natural frequency remember in the 2 before the it, it vibrates with one frequency okay therefore it, it has it is, it is a pure note okay the sound of the tuning fork is of single frequency therefore it's a pure note okay 
and different tuning forks produce different frequency. So each tuning fork has one particular frequency and different tuning fork can produce different frequency. This, uh, the whenever the tuning fork is struck against the rubber pad, then it produces uh, vibrations and that vibrations passes to through the air to, through the air to our ear okay in the form of longitudinal wave and this is how we can hear the sound produced by there.